My top 10 anime recommendations to heal your soul. Coming in at number 10 we have Slow Loop, a tranquil escape into the world of fishing, following Yuri and Koharu as they immerse themselves in the Syrian countryside finding solace and connection to the art of angling. So let's stop the angling at the entry number 10 and let's go catch number 9, which is Non Non Biori. A story where the life of Hotaru Ichijo's life takes a turn as she moves to the quiet and ruler village of Ashigaoka. With only four schoolmates in a single classroom, including the perceptive Renge and the quirky Koshigaya siblings, every day brings new adventures and a deeper appreciation for the countryside's charm. It's a heartwarming tale of friendship and embracing the simple joys of a ruler life. At number 8 we have Kimi Toboku, and the exciting everyday school life of the four troublemakers kind and cheerful Shun, hot-tempered Karume and the twins Lazy Yuki and Gentle Yuta. With the arrival of the dynamic strength student Chizuru Tachibana, the world gets a shake-up with creative yet troublesome ideas, it's a relaxed and humorous take on the teenage life filled with new encounters and self-discovery. Representing number 7, Yamano Susume, why conquer mountains when you can leisurely hike them up with friends. Due to an accident, Aoi wants a mountain enthusiast turned to indoor hobbies due to the fear of heights. Reconnecting with her old climbing friend, Hinata reignites her passion for climbing, leading her on a journey of friendship and self-discovery. In the sixth place, Tanaka-kun is always listless, laziness has never been more entertaining. It's a show about a guy who takes laziness to a whole new level. Procrastination was an art form Tanaka-kun would be its master. Following Tanaka-kun's quest to an ultimate nap in this hilarious and relatable slice of life comedy. At number 5 we have Usagi Drop, a heartwarming tale of a parenthood that will make you want to hug your loved ones a little bit tighter. When Daiki Chikawachi unexpectedly becomes a father figure to Rin, his grandfather's legitimate daughter, embarks on a journey of love, frustration and the joys of a family life. Join them as they navigate the speedrun so-called parenthood in this touching and heartfelt anime. Number 4. We have Barakumon. Meet Seishu Handa, a talented yet narcissistic calligraphy artist. Plunged into a creative slump, he embarks on a journey to the Goto Islands, where anything but peaceful islanders offer him a crash course in life's challenges. From Boyser's children to meddling neighbors, Handa learns that inspiration can be found in the most unexpected places. Get ready for a heartwarming journey of self-discovery and the vibrant lessons of an island life. Number 3. Eurocamp. A place where the great outdoors meets Cozy Kimuridi, join Rin and her friends whom she slowly picks up from the woods nearby Mount Fuji. Showing us how camping is done right, they embark on many trips from serene lakeside sunsets to toasty marshmallow moments, get ready for a journey that will leave you craving for some more. At second place we have Natsume's Book of Friends. Follow Takashi Natsume as he navigates a life filled with strange creatures called yokai. Despite his isolation and loneliness due to his unusual ability, Natsume forms an unexpected bond with Madara, a powerful spirit in the form of a lucky cat. Together they embark on a mission to protect the Book of Friends, a powerful artifact left by Natsume's late grandmother. Throughout his encounters with both Yoka and humans, Natsume's journey is marked by friendship, acceptance and self-discovery. So yeah, don't worry about the boy, he gets some friends along the way. At number 1 we have Mushishi. Mushi being the most basic forms of life in the world, they exist without any goals or purpose aside from simply being. They are beyond the shackles of the worlds of good and evil. Mushi can exist in countless forms and are capable of mimicking things from the natural world as plants, diseases and even phenomena like rainbows. So what are Mushi and why do they exist? The story follows a Mushishi called Ginkgo wonders constantly. Mushishi are those who research Mushi in the hopes of understanding their place in the world's hierarchy of life. Following the mysterious Mushishi Ginko was on a quest for understanding that might just rival Buddha's search for enlightenment, albeit with a bit more bug catching involved, join Ginko as he unravels the secrets of Mushi and maybe even discovers the meaning of life itself. 
one buck at the time. You get it right, Mushi, buck, the same. <laughs> Please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Bye!